famous towers. There are many famous towers around the world. Most big cities have a tower. The Eiffel Tower is in Paris, France. The Oriental Pearl TV Tower is in Shanghai, China. This is the Ostankino Tower in Moscow, Russia. The Gherkin is in London, England. Tall towers and buildings are not new. This is the Great Lighthouse of Alexandria. The Egyptians built it more than 2,000 years ago. The lighthouse was on an island near Alexandria. It was important because the island was dangerous for ships. The lighthouse was a very tall building. It was 117 meters tall. There are now lighthouses all over the world. The Great Lighthouse of Alexandria was the first. The lighthouse was as tall as a new building with 40 floors. The building was in three parts. The third part was the lighthouse tower. The lighthouse tower was eight-sided. There was a balcony. The views were fantastic. There were many visitors to the lighthouse. There was a place to eat on the first level. There was a mirror at the top of the tower. It was a signal for ships in the daytime. At night, there was a fire. The lighthouse was very famous. It was on Roman coins. The city of Alexandria in Egypt was the center of trade in the ancient Mediterranean world. Its most recognizable landmark was the great Pharaoh's lighthouse built to guide ships safely into the city's bay. At the top, a fire provided a beacon of light at night, and a column of smoke during the day, visible to ships many miles at sea. The lighthouse also served as a tourist attraction and many visitors to the city climbed its heights. Sightseers might start by walking up a 600 foot long ramp. There, the visitor might see a dedication offered by the architect. Legend has it that the king refused to let any name but his own on the building. The architect fooled him by putting the king's name in plaster over the architect's words. As the years went by, the plaster chipped away, eventually revealing the architect's message chiseled in stone. Inside the lowest section of the building, tourists could walk up a spiral ramp to an observation deck perhaps 250 feet above the sea. Mounted on the four corners here were statues of the fish-tailed sea god Triton. Guests could purchase food and souvenirs on this deck, perhaps one of the many coins with the pharaoh's likeness imprinted on it. Tourists that wished to climb the next section took stairs up an eight-sided tower to a smaller observation deck. With a height of more than 300 feet, visitors had a wonderful view of the city. Undoubtedly, they could see the famous Library of Alexandria, an ancient center for learning. They thought that the library was the largest in the world at the time, with hundreds of thousands of books in the form of scrolls. A round tower was the uppermost section of the lighthouse. At the top was a fire tended night and day. A large mirror, thought to be made of polished bronze, helped project the light into a beam. It is said that the mirror could be used as a weapon to concentrate sunlight and set enemy ships ablaze as they approach the city. However, most historians doubt this claim. At the very top of the lighthouse, at a height of over 400 feet, was a statue of the god of the sea, Poseidon. Until it was destroyed by an earthquake in the 14th century, the pharaohs was the pride of Alexandria. For almost 1,500 years, it was a comforting sight for sailors, leading them to the safety of the harbor, even on the darkest nights.